one dollar ring um you can use any bill um i think one looks the best um and single digits so ones twos and fives look probably the best just because it's one digit and it can fit on this tiny square but if you have like tens twenties fifties and hundreds and stuff it's gonna be a lot more tighter and especially with a hundred dollar bill like you're gonna see the it's gonna be really squished and you won't probably get to see the whole 100 so without further ado the only supplies you'll need is a dollar bill um i'm gonna go and grab one right now <laughs> Okay, so the first step you want to do in this process of making your $1 bill ring, you obviously have two sides, this side and this side. You want to go on this side. What you want to do is you want to get this top fold crease and you want to fold it this way, like this. And if you can see, there's like a line between here and here in the middle. You want to try and fold it all the way across there and you can look at it from many different views so that the only thing you can see is the green on the dollar bill if you can see a little bit of white it's gonna it, it's not gonna ruin it but it's it maybe gonna affect later in more foldings and so also please keep in mind that the better your creases are the better your um, ring is gonna turn out. So if you're doing really, really good hard creases, your ring is gonna turn out really, really good. Or if you don't put, I mean, I don't wanna say a lot of effort, but if you guys, um, you just need to put in a lot of effort. So I already have it now done. You can see a little bit of white, so I'm actually gonna hurry and do that. But it should look like this, so that the flap is kind of covering the United States of America on this side. Now also, if you want, I probably would prefer a tool, especially if you're aiming for, um, what do you call it? Um, perfect, like, linemen or whatever. You wanna probably grab a tool. Now the tool that I'm using is like a, a clippers for nails and I'm using the edge crease. If you want, you can use the, like a knife, you can use the, uh, not the sharp spot, the other side, that's a little risky though. Or use, um, like a book always works. Um, just something nice and um, firm edge so that you can go ahead and create really, really good crease lines. Okay, now the next step, what you wanna do this fold this so you can see George Washington. You want to get this bottom part and you want to fold it to the top right here. Just like that. All right, and then on this one too, you want to have a really, really good crease line. Really, everything needs a good crease line, but there's some that you really need to focus on. So then your bill looks like this. So you got your flap over United States of America on George Washington's side, and you got folded. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to lift up this little flap, and you want to put this under. And then, oops, all right, there you go. So like that. And then you can tell it's a little bit flimsy. So this is why I'm using this tool. To um, and I love going back and forth. It really, really just makes your bracelet look the best. Oop. All right. Okay, so now you have your bill like this and this. 
You have this side with your crease. You want to flip it so that you can see the United States of America up like this. Okay. Now you want to flip it around and keep in the United States of America up. And you want to get the bottom crease right down here again. And you want to fold it to the top again. Remember, you need to get it right there perfect on the line. And this one is the probably the one that you really need to focus on and really get down perfect. Because this is your like, uh, this is gonna, this long, um, I don't know what you wanna call it, but this part is like where things get a little bit harder. And so the better your creases are, the easier it's gonna be. Um, if you have long nails, probably going around both edges will work really well. Just something. Okay, so your dollar bill should look like this. You can possibly see a little bit of this. This is what it should look like. Okay, so now what you want to do is on the left side of the bill, you want to get this part. And you want to fold it behind. See where the that line is? you want to fold it behind perfectly. Now you don't want any white showing because this part we're doing right here is the front, front on your bill. See how there's a little bit right here? It doesn't look very good. You need to get very, very deep behind, but not too deep behind. Just so that, see, you can see a little bit of green on that folded side. And that's how you see that. Now this is a flap that you really, really need to get down because the more puffed up it is the harder it is to tuck in a little bit later so you want to try and get this fold really nice and skinny now that you've done that the next step that you need to do is you need to pinch with your pointer finger and your thumb or any fingers and just wrap around just like that this is kind of creating like a nice circle for your ring so that you get a better look at it. Look something like this. Now, this is now creating the other side of your square. Try to make it the best square you can. What I like to do is in between the E and the T, try folding it in between the middle. See this little thing right here? Try folding it right on that. And that's probably gonna be your best bet on a closest square for you. And then, to have it, work on this crease line too and get it nice and firm down. So it looks like this. Okay, now, the next thing you do is now we're creating the ring size. So, <clears throat> remember on this, the closer you fold it to this, the smaller it's going to be, and the farther out, it's going to be bigger. So, where I like to measure it is it looks like this. On this side, it's the $1 bill. On this side, you want to try and make... I find the perfect ring size is in between the O and the F for most sizes. On... You know, if you're maybe younger, you'd probably put this on maybe your thumb, pointer, finger. Um, <clears throat> I find this size works for most people. If you got a little bit of small hands, obviously move in. If you got bigger, move out. Now, the type of fold that you're going to want to make is like this. So, as you can see, I'm folding it like this. It looks like this on this side. You want to get this line. In between the O and the F, best as you can, just like that. And then make a nice crease right there. Your bill should look like this, or unless if you are having it closer in or further out, <clears throat> this is what it like. It should look like with that, this, and this. 
Okay, now the next step is a little tricky and it's a lot of listening. <clears throat> what you're gonna need to do is pinch this side and make the bill flopped up like this. And kind of hold it. Okay, then with this side that you made, you gotta flip it again like that. And then like that. Make sense? So it's like this. Like that. And you wanna line this line up with this line. Try getting it center on the piece. Then it is very tricky. So you wanna get it nice and lined up. If you're still struggling, I'd probably pause the video here and try getting it lined up as perfect as you can. And then also, you'll need to open it up now after and make sure that crease line is lined up with here. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're getting rid of this axis. So what you want to do is you want to fold it over that one part. I mean, under. But what you want to do is you want to make this crease nice and solid. And then you want to go back in the ring and really really work on this end right here that you just folded like that and you want to get this little piece up there you go now the more white that is shown right here well you see right here so the more white you can get up the less white you're gonna see. And in my opinion, the less white you can see on here, the better it looks. Now that you have it nice and solid, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my tool. So I'm gonna make it nice and flat all around. So it looks like this. Okay, now you wanna fold that $1 bill over all that fold and see now you have the first look now you can see a little bit but it's nice and even and looks really good and so you're almost done with your bill the last step you need to do is now you may need a tool for this and just know this is the hardest part whether you get like a pencil or a pen i probably prefer a Pin, just so you don't get pencil on your thing but ooh, let me see if I have one one of those like clicky pens if I happen to have one but make sure the end is closed and you want to get under all of these folds I'm using this kind of create that so that this can slide under now it's a lot of using and working your hands, but it it is very hard. I've happened just to do it a lot. That's why I'm kind of going a little faster. But you want to get all of that wide in. All of that. Get that all in there. And then your ring is pretty much done. You can just slide it on. Looks like that. Now, if you want, sometimes this piece will slip out. So get, go ahead and get some tape. And get a small sliver. Tape it. And obviously I'd push it down, but I've never had mine rip open, but some people have theirs if they're wearing it a lot. But this is how to make the ring. Your inside, it's going to be a little bit sloppy, but the more you push it all the way around, it's going to look a lot better. And also, try to get this side tucked in as much as you can. Because it's one piece that a lot of people... Oh, it's a piece that has a lot of white on it. Like I have it folded in, but not to the best of its ability. And I just about have it. There we go. That's how you create it. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
if you um know how to do it great i'm happy for you um comment down below if you need help nothing else don't comment freaking links to dumb crap but if you need help comment down below and i'm really happy to help you guys but this is how you create it in this game steps go for like whoa, twos and fives and then if you want to go ahead and do tens and a hundred it just won't fit on it the hundred will be out and tens and stuff so there you guys go Thanks for joining the party, farties. Subscribe! <laughs> that was legitness. Yeah.